Welcome to Sage Business Cloud Payroll's ETV troubleshooting video. The ETV file can be exported out of your EasyFile system by navigating to Utilities, EMP501 Status Dashboard. The submission will be shown here and you can export the ETV file from here. For more information, refer to the SARS website listed below. The file that gets exported will be a text file and will most often be found in the Downloads folder. Once opening the file, you will find that it is not the easiest file to interpret. In order to easily read and understand the file, we advise that you open it in Excel. Open your Excel program and click on Open. Click on Browse and locate your Downloads folder. Click on the drop-down and select All Files instead of All Excel Files. Locate the ETV file. It will read as ETVR and will show the Persian reference number and period of submission. Click on OK. The text import wizard will now appear. Ensure that you have selected the file type as delimited, then click on Next. Under the delimiters, select the other checkbox. Enter the tilde sign, also sometimes referred to as a squiggle sign. The data preview will change to columns and you can click on Next. Click on Finish. The Excel sheet will now appear and the columns and headings will be in a readable format. You can go through the file to see on which calculations the employee failed, whether it's pay as you earn or SDL, or both. Once you know the failure reason, you can troubleshoot possible causes. The most common cause for pay as failure is due to additional voluntary tax being processed but the employee checkbox was never selected. Revert back to the relevant tax year. Check the employee to see if additional voluntary tax has been processed. Check the employee detail screen to see if the additional voluntary tax checkbox has been selected. Before selecting additional voluntary tax, ensure that you have the employee's written request for processing additional voluntary tax. If the additional voluntary tax was processed incorrectly, you can process a year-to-date correction and contact the employee to discuss any under and over payments that were made. In order to do the year-to-date adjustment, locate the additional voluntary tax line. Click on the plus sign. You can now add or remove the value for additional voluntary tax. Click on the drop-down to select a month that this needs to be processed in. Once this is done, you can click on OK. If no additional voluntary tax was processed, we advise that you print a year-to-date detail report that shows the additional information. You can use this report to do a manual tax calculation to determine if payroll's value was correct. How to troubleshoot the SDL failure. The SDL validation is usually triggered if the SDL payment is not 1% of the gross employment income. However, in the 2020-2021 tax year, there was a four-month SDL payment holiday. The ETV validation cannot exclude the four-month holiday values from the validation. 
and this might cause an incorrect validation. If your ETV file fails based on the SEL payment holiday, you will need to contact SARS for further instruction. The only other reason why SDL or pay as you earn might be incorrectly calculated is if these definitions were imported via import batch facility. In order to check if these values were imported, you will navigate to data take on import history. Download the files that you have uploaded in that year and check them to see if pay as you earn or SDL were imported. If these values were imported, you will need to reach out to your tax practitioner to ensure that the calculations were accurate. Thank you for watching our videos.